when Yoritomo Minamoto lost his first battle to the Taira, he managed to escape. Yoritomo fled to the forest and was pursued by the Tyra. Yoritomo hid in a tree and luckily the rustling that drew the attention of his Tyra pursuers was put down to the white doves they saw nestling in Yoritomo's tree. So despite military defeat, this event was deemed auspicious by Yoritomo. And Yoritomo managed to escape his pursuers by jumping on a boat and escaping across the bay from Kamakura here to the distant province of Awa. And fortunately for him, the eastern clans, even the eastern Taira led by Hirotsune, rallied behind Yoritomo. Such was the disdain for the western Taira. And after escaping to Awa, these hordes of new followers who flocked to Yoritomo urged him to reclaim Kamakura as his capital. Entering the city in 1180, and in the spirit of his ancestors, he built a new shrine, this time a grand new shrine, Surago Kahachi Mangu. And also in the spirit of his ancestors, Yoritomo prayed that his wife would deliver him a son and heir. Every year on the second Sunday of June, the local people of Zaimokaza here in the southeast coastal district of Kamakura gather at Gosho Jinja Shrine for the annual festival. Eight centuries after Turugo Kachimangu Shrine was built, the chants of these local people as they carry the shrines is identical to the chant of their forefathers as they carried the wood from Zaimokuza Beach and up Wakamiya Ojidori Avenue to build this new grand shrine for their new lord, Yoritomo. gathered support and forces, the Taira in Kyoto sent a huge army eastward to smash this Genji upstart once and for all. Hearing this, Yoritomo gathered his own army and marched westwards and the two forces met and glared at each other across the banks of the Fujikawa River. But wily old Yoritomo, as night fell, decided to launch a surprise attack but his men were samurai, not ninja. And as they tried to wade across the waters of the river as quietly as they could, they inadvertently managed to disturb a flock of birds. Luckily for them, the sound of these birds sounded like the beating of horses' hooves. 
and the Tyra, terrified, fled back to Kyoto without so much as an arrow being fired. <laughs>